Okay, it's Christmas. 2020. The year of hell. Hellfire and damnation. Death, destruction, horrifying devilcrats, and... Uh, so anyways, it's Christmas night, and I'm here with my friend, Ben. Everybody knows Ben. And I'm me. And we are... We're not going to say where we are, but we're in California. Southern California somewhere. Far, far away from where I usually... This is where I used to live in the 80s, late 80s and 90s. I haven't been here in about 10 or 11 years. So this is a trip. But this is a very nice big tree. But see how everybody's out enjoying Christmas night? See how everybody's sitting around the tree? All happy, gathered around, happy and gay, as they say. No. Because of Flu Manchu. Or the other one. Kung Flu? Kung Flu. So thanks to China, this is happening. And it is. All roads lead to China. But besides that, it is a very nice Christmas night. I mean, it's one of the quietest I've ever experienced in my entire life. In fact, it's eerie. But uh, it's not going to stop me. I bet you no one can guess where I'm at. No one. I'm not saying it. I put up two pictures of me with people that are famous, I guess. I didn't think people would get it. And it took like one minute. Like, who am I standing with? Burp, burp, and burp, burp. So everybody can go up. Everybody can comment, because I didn't say, you know, that the girl that guessed it was right. Could be somebody else. But whatever. No one's playing my games anymore. I'm going to start making videos, playing guitar again. It's just, uh, I'm busy working on the album. It's going to be done. I'm going to get it done. If I can just get my singer to stay out of jail and stay off of the junk, then it will be done. <laughs> And this is going out. I don't care who hears it. Stay off the dope. That's why they call it dope. True. Who did that? That was a good song. That's why they call it. Yeah, Jizzy Pearl, his first band. What was it? What was that band? So we just, it took us an hour to figure out GBH, Great Bodily Harm. Yeah. But we figured it out. Now I'm trying to think of it. Oh, Love Hate. Love that first album was really good, actually. Blackout in the Red Room. Blackout! He had a good voice. I liked it. That's why he's been in a million bands. None of them have done anything once he gets into them. He did hang himself off the Hollywood sign. That's what he's famous for, actually. But they did have a couple of good songs. They just bad timing. It was the big switch over in 1990. Anyways, so during that time in 1990 when I was playing in Fatal Attraction, I was also living out here with my girlfriend, with the main girl. And then, you know, my side girls. All seven or eight of them. Oops! Now you know. But I don't do that now. I've repented. Yeah, that Vons. That's where we used to cash in our... And they still have a ding machine. See? You can put in your cans and it gives you change. It crushes them. That white one. So we'd sit there every Sunday night with all the beer we drink. Then we'd go to that machine crush all the cans, get all the change, and walk right back in there and buy a case of beer and start all over again. That was pretty much my life. 
for a long time. Drink, 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 and other things. Yes, this is it. Santa Gertrude that street. I'll give you that much. So I lived here with her for two years. 89.90. And then she moved over to that one. We lived on the second floor. And then she moved over to Big Bear. And, oh gosh. Then moved back down here to the first floor of the Hawaiian uh, tropical gardens. And uh, there you go. But you can figure it out for yourself where this is. So Santa Gertrude, Gertrude, and Starbucks Street. That's a new street. There was no Starbucks Street. Oh, you can't see what it says on the bottom. Oh, oh, oh that says White. <laughs> I said the name. All right, well, we're just driving down to where the other apartments. This reminds me of listening to Dead or Alive with her mom. Because her mom's like, what? Because she was a Hispanic, Mexican, and Spanish. The mom was Mexican. But, you know, she's like, oh, no, another honky. You're not in a honky, but... What do the Mexican people call white people? Gringos? Gringo. Yeah, another gringo with long gotcha. hair and I got makeup on and what the heck. But she was playing Dead or Alive. He spin me right round, baby, right round. And so I'm like, I love that song. So me and her mom started you know, singing it. Of course, I was drunk. Otherwise, I would have never sang it. And uh, Yermo. Yeah. And then we kind of hit it off, and then not hit it off, and it was a, it was a very odd. There's a nice a little decorated house. See, some people did it. Some people went for it, and that's what you should have done. You should have went for it. It's Christmas. Who cares about the flu Manchu? If they'd let it burn through the entire population, we wouldn't have these problems. That are stupid. But that's that. I don't want to talk about it on Christmas. I keep saying that. Uh, I can't remember how far down it is. It seems like it wasn't that far, but I guess it's been a long time. 1989 is a long time ago. Lambert. Yeah, because I would come up Lambert and I'd turn up. Maybe they tore the friggin' things down. No, it's down here. Gotta figure this out. I know if Gary sees this, he'll go, oh, you're... <laughs> so, Gary, don't say anything. <coughs> oh, Wiener Schnitzel. Was that there? If it was there. <sighs> Little Caesars, that was a liquor store. Or had confrontation with her boyfriend. And he was like, so you're the new guy, huh? And I'm like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? And I'm like, nothing, dude. I'd probably kill you right now. He's like, no, it's cool, man. It's cool. And I'm like, yeah, it's cool. See ya. He turned out to be a nice guy, actually. So Little Caesars was right around here somewhere. Well, where is everything? Lambert. Santa Gertrude. Gertrude. A Little Caesars was right here, I thought. That's not it. It's like a big, it's got palm trees, palm trees. There used to be a little Caesars there because we'd buy, this is it. No, this isn't, it's too small. Is this it? it seemed like it was a lot bigger. That's not it. Nah. It's been too long. Cause this is when I used to come up Imperial Highway. What's this place called? Oh, for night crawler. There we go. This is it. See the palm trees and the fountains. This one was actually cheaper. This was like four or five hundred bucks a month. Two bedroom, one two bath, and there was a what swimming pool and a hot tub. And we go out into the hot tub and cloud it up every night for everybody. Just think about that. 
So, yes, because I came down Imperial, I hit a dog, I was going 90 miles an hour, didn't have a chance. Drove up here, pulled in right here. Yes, this is it. Because I remember I pulled in and it was Halloween and I was in a Fatal Attraction, the vampire band, and I got out of the car and there was a tape. Disney Halloween noises. I'm like, this is perfect. So we used it for our opening a couple times. But my parking spot was right where that part, that car is parked back in. That was my spot. And I get out and I walk in there and then I go down there and then in. And there was so many times where there was five cop cars lined up down here and they're every week they were called to stop us from fighting and that went on for six years but you didn't see her what she looked like back then either but like I said she was the main one I had others such a nice Christmas story but this is where I decided to drive out to tonight. Yeah, thanks, Paco. I can't get out of here. You're gonna have to move or do something, dude. What are you gonna do? You can just sit there like that? He is, isn't he? Well, I'm gonna turn this off, but, uh, figure out where I am. At least just live here. And this is like, you know. <laughs> It went from a nice place down to where it's, it's not so nice. Even 20 or, what is it, 30 years? Almost 30 years ago. This was considered one of the nicer apartments, but there's some real a-holes. Could probably buy drugs out of this guy if I wanted. Hey, Chingon, how you doing, Jay? My Chihuahua. No way I'd live here. But I'd go up there about a mile and live up there because it's not bad. But this is the bad part. The more, more towards Imperial Highway we get, the worse it gets. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Gosh, jeez. Flashbacks. Oh my goodness. Most of the time everything was, it was doubled. <laughs> there was two of everything when I lived here. There was two everything. Well, she had twins, so that made it four. That's it. Don't remember the name. Didn't live in these ones. I lived in the ones in the back. All basic setup. What a weird giant apartment complex this was because it's not all apartments in the middle it's all clear like right there it's like a tropical whatever with a giant pool and everybody be out there drinking and stuff I remember one night one day we went out she put baby oil all over me she goes this way you'll get suntan quicker yeah, I look like a friggin' lobster. It was ridiculous. So then we were supposed to go out that night and pass out flyers, so I put on the makeup so my face is white and everything else is red. It's kind of friggin'... Yeah, they took out the friggin' uh, Caesar's Pizza that was here. That's too bad because we went there all the time. McDonald's is there, Arco was there, damn PM was there. Look at this guy. Dude, what are you doing? Might as well go now. No, I didn't shoot when it was nice. But, oh no, there's the friggin' liquor mart. See, look at that friggin' 1970s liquor store friggin' sign. Hey, you want to get some liquor at the? It's like something you'd see in a Cheech and Chong movie. Hey, let's go to the liquor mart, man. That's what everybody talked like down here too. 
Apple. Hey, how's how you doing? Look at mine. Get some beer. Get some beer, some beer, beer there. Some uh, the bracho. What do they call beer? Cerveza. Cerveza. Let's go down and get some cerveza. Uh, I didn't learn much Spanish, but I learned a lot of other stuff. That's nice. Look at that big old thing. So, just remember, it is Christmas. Forget about everything for a day or two. About the stolen election, about the corrupt government we now have. But it's been 30 years. If you didn't see this coming, then you uh, had your head somewhere. All right. Santa Gertrude and Lambert. I hated this name because I could never say it. So what is Santa Gertrude? Yeah, Gertrude is. That's the kind of business we want to support. You'll we'll see if I close up on that and it's the community. So this year, and it focuses, you will see the name, but yeah, that's it. But there is a nice part of this city, believe it or not. This isn't it. All right, Merry Christmas. I'll make another one on New Year with probably with him shooting rocket off, or then that's not code for any gay yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or we'll be down at the beach. I don't know what kind of. I heard uh, Newsom got really in a lot of trouble today. A court ruled something against him, and he's and he's gone down. That's too bad he was such a good guy. Yeah. He's a jackass. The state. This state used to be great, but that was like 40, 50 years ago. It has not been great for a long time. And now the poisonous cancer is spreading. Go listen to Ted Nugent talk about it. He says it much clearer and uh, cruder. But what he says is right. All right. I walked down those railroad tracks for like two miles once, trying to sober up one night. Real smart. All right. Merry Christmas. Remember the reason for the season. And that's it. Well, you know, jeez, gotta keep switching. I don't want to come in. All right, bye.